Hello everyone, today we've got another great podcast in store for you. This one is a real side hustle that anyone can start. Basically we're talking to the Morley Group and Morley Trends. Basically what they do is they teach people how to become personal shoppers. They've got a ton of insight, they've been personal shopping for a long time themselves and we're going to jump into it with them, see what they have to offer, see what they know about the personal shopping world and it's an absolute banger if you're looking for another little side hustle to get involved with. So let's do this. So, Where are we at today, Milo and Will and Zach? Where are we at? So we're at um, Molly Group, Molly Trends HQ in the warehouse. Mm-hmm. Loads yes, stocking the boys. So, what do you boys actually do, like as a business? Mr. Morton, you start off. I'll I'll introduce it. So, um, we have two primary businesses. You've got Molly Trends and Molly Group. Morley Trends is our personal shopping platform where we'll source designer goods for clients on a daily basis. Let's say you want a Moncler jacket, cool, we'll source it. If it's out of stock, we can still source it. Um, The Morley Group, in contrast, is our educational platform where we teach like-minded entrepreneurs how to become an absolute beast and how to become their personal shopping journey and start that. Um, We've now got around 28 members who've who've quit the jobs full-time just to fulfill this occupation full-time now um, within their own self-employment. Um, and yeah, to be, to be honest, bro, we're, we're now just looking to scale, increase buying power um, and, and just really yeah. strengthen the, the supply chain, if I'm going to be honest, bro. And how um, did you boys start off with like personal shopping yourselves? Because was, was that your first venture, like personal yes. shopping? Yeah. So we there's a mad backstory, bro, behind how we got into personal shopping. So when we was 15, 16, at the time we used to buy from an outlet store. Mm-hmm. Uh, we can't disclose what, what or where <laughs> that is, yeah. Um, yeah. but essentially... What happened in the outlet is that any items that were faulty from specific retailers, they mm-hmm. would then be placed within the outlet at a heavily discounted price. Um, I'm talking 70, 80% off Montclair yeah. jackets, bro. Um, so it means that- and, and what kind of like like defects would they have? Just like broken, broken zips. zips. Like, they might have like a seam hole or yeah. something ripped at the bottom. But at the time we then just joint ventured with a tailor and then literally just yeah. passed all the faulty Fixed items straight to him, charged us, let's say, seven pound a unit, got it repaired. Means that back in the day when we were 16, listing shit on Depop, bro. Mad. Churned 100K when we were 16 in December, bro, just Mad. from selling <laughs> um, pre owned goods, bro, on, on Depop and eBay. Got to the point where our Depop actually got banned because. Why did it get banned? Well, we was underage at the time. We were 16. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. We had a PayPal yeah. connected to We had some issues with that. Our and PayPal was strict. Means that was greedy at the time, yeah. So what happened was, is we understood that Depop was charging a 10% sellers fee on mm. every single item that we sold. And we're looking at items that were selling for a grand and we're thinking, wait a minute, we're getting charged 100 pounds there. Like, do we really want to? Do we re- really want to be taking that fee from us when we can just find other ways of getting these um, clients through third-party yeah. platforms like WhatsApp, Instagram? We then redirect them, save the one hundred pound. But after time, Depop moderate moderators would then say, "Yo, yeah. like, oh, you're man. taking the piss now." Yeah, and that, that's that's when the Depop got banned, bro. So, are you, <laughs> so you're just shifting everything on like eBay, Depop yeah, at the start. How long did that go on for? A few. It got to the point where we was like saying to our friends, "Look." We, cause I, our PayPal's was getting banned. We was yeah. like, bro, like, let's just let's. Can we just borrow your PayPal? Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, we yeah. was knowing that this PayPal was probably gonna get banned in a few months because we we're gonna just churn so yeah. much revenue f- through it. And then, how long? We was probably doing it for a good few years. Yeah. We had mo- loads, so many different. Like basically, every one of our friends and en- en- ended up having like a limited company that we just kept churning <laughs> yeah, their <mad>. cash through. <laughs> and we me and him just kept invoicing it yeah, yeah, in, yeah. In, in, into ours. But obviously, everyone made a little bit of cash from it. I'd say a good few years. A good few years were just churning through yeah. eBay, yeah. Depop. So you're pulling um, them all into WhatsApp? Say that again. You pulled yeah, them all into the WhatsApp? Client, the oh, clients from Depop yeah. and eBay would literally be retargeting, yeah. getting them on like a broadcast uh-huh. list and saying to them, yo, mm. like if you ever need anything in the future, you've got a number now. Yeah. Yeah. Shout yeah. Us. It was yeah. almost like an organic growth strategy. So is that yeah. how you really started with the personal shopping kind of yeah, stuff? Yeah, personal shopping. Yeah. But the, the, there's another story that goes even further than that. So when we were buying from this outlet, we'd be going in there like picking up Valentino's bro for 30 pounds a pair bro. Mm-hmm. Zanot is for like 25 yeah, pounds. Prices. Montclair jackets were broken zips for 50 pounds bro. Mad. And like pe- people do not believe it when we tell them the yeah, story bro. Yeah. But it if, must be if, fake. If you but... know, you know. Mm-hmm. And and those that have been with us to this retailer and purchased from them, I mean, we still work with, with them in this current day now. Yeah, yeah. We've now have a B2B contract with them to, to buy up all of the return faulty goods, even end the line discontinued pieces. And when we was 15, 16 bro, we'd be buy, buying these Valentino 
it was so cheap. Going into school, putting them in a backpacks, bro. And we'd be walking around saying, yo, bro, I've got these Valentinos for a hundred pounds. Do you want to buy them? But every single time, because the items were so cheap, we bought, we built them one-to-one relationships with the clients from the get-go. Like we, we've got guys who we used to sell to in school, bro, who are still buying from us to this day. Mad. Do you know what I mean? Just just because it's in crazy school, it was just how networking, like, Yeah, bro. how long like, that kind of like thing can go on for. Like yeah. once you make that connection. And that brings us on to like a point of like, you know, like you were saying, like, you know, for each client you acquire, like how, like as a personal shopper, how much do, like, do you think you make a year out of like one acquired client? Well, the, the average spend, yeah, from a consumer within the personal shopping industry is around two to two and a half thousand pounds um, per, per year, if I'm mm-hmm. going to be honest. But the way we like to explain it to, to the educational platform and, and the students within that is, imagine if, let's say, you just got a hundred clients within your first year, mm-hmm. all spending two and a half K. Yeah, exactly. The, the numbers then start to really add yes. up and the revenue yeah. then massively increases. And then you fall yeah. on some big dons. Yeah. So like whales. Whales, whales, bro. bro. <laughs> whales, whales. So we have one yeah, client yeah. that will come in. He comes, to the, he comes to this warehouse, he'll spend 10, 15K every single week. Mad. I'm not even talking about month, every Mad, single week because bro. he's putting his money, like the people don't understand, they the LV stock, it's same yeah. as a watch. Yeah, like yeah. you can buy that one LV true, yeah. item and as long as you keep it in decent condition, you see you either after a year selling it and making a higher profit margin yeah. than what you bought it for, yeah. or you're just tucking it away, you're putting it in the cupboard. You're obviously mm-hmm. you're only wearing a two, three K jacket lot, what, like once every yeah. few months if you're going to yeah, like a nice really place. Ruined. So it's just coming, just dropping bands. And this is a thing a few of our clients as well have had, I've got some whale clients, footballers as well, spend yeah. ridiculous amount of yeah. and the market just keeps growing because everyone's trying to look better and better and better all the time. Like and and celebrities and everyone's pushing designer gear it's sort of just benefiting in, in, in ours and, and all of our customers' yeah. favour as, as well that have come through on, on the group. Yeah. It's so like even with the essentials way, bro. Like, look yeah. at yeah. what yeah. happened, yeah. 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 What happened bro, when, was, when Molly May was just pushing essentials, yeah. bro. Yeah. yeah. All of the retail yeah. sold out. The demand went crazy, bro. We bought, bro. We got so much essentials. Yeah, how much to go through? Hundreds of tracksuits, hundreds <laughs> of tracksuits, all at retail, making a hundred pound a unit. Every single time a client right. wanted a specific size source, and if we didn't have it in hand, we just get a reseller to post it straight to the customer's door if we've already mm-hmm. already established yeah. the trust with them. Yeah, yeah. Um, and that's loss. the thing with this industry. Yeah. As you scale the business. There's automations of what you can implement within the business where once you've got that relationship with a certain supplier, you can then get that supplier to post straight to the customer in unbranded packaging. Mm-hmm. We like to refer to the term as beach money. Mm-hmm. We went to IB for bro and Marbella this year. We was ha- having clients on the phone saying, yo, have you got any LV t-shirts in? Yeah. All we'd then do is get the photos of what's available on request there and then make a quick five balls on an outfit just for literally putting two and two together, bro. It's like that, that shit's automated, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Beach money, man. Like, well, why do you think- <laughs> I love that. Yeah. Why, why do you think people like, like to buy from personal shoppers and stuff like that? Like, why do people buy like from personal shoppers instead of like online? It's, it's the one-to-one relationships. It's like, it, it's more of a friendship thing as well, bro. Do you know what I mean? If, if, yeah. if I've chatted to you, obviously I'm coming around, I'm chilling, I'm building that relationship. And then not only that, I'm saving you cash. Yeah. So firstly, we've got that great relationship. Secondly, every single time you're buying from us, you're saving cash. And then thirdly, it's like, you're actually helping us out. Do you know what I mean? So it's like, we're, mm-hmm. we're helping you out with the clothes and then it's like you might tell us a little bit of information we might we try to provide value in in so many other ways other than just clothes yeah. whether yeah. that be through our crypto investments that we do or, or through property investments or through x y and z what does everyone in this world want to do everyone wants to make cash you know yeah 100 I mean? so it's it's the one thing which obviously we're always trying to in, in, increase the, the 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 asset value that we have mm-hmm. and so is everyone else so I think that that's the, the the main key, but the main key is the relationships, to be honest. Man. I, th- yeah. I think as and well, the discount like, and stuff like that as yeah, well. The discounts as well, bro. Discounts. Like you've, you've got three three tiers of different clients. You've got let's say shark, mm. fish, and whale clients. Your fish clients are those who just spend let's say five hundred pound yeah. to a grand a year. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and those sort of people, they haven't got the disposable income to go and pay full price on a designer mm-hmm. good. And that's why now, again, even with pre-owned designer goods, we was heavy on pre-owned at one point, bro, because. At the time, we didn't have the clientele to, to go and sell a Louis Vuitton jacket. Yeah. Yeah. So we needed to ensure that our, our infrastructure within the business catered to the trend of people wanting to save as much money as possible. So yeah, if yeah. someone can't afford a brand new Montclair jacket for a thousand pounds, guess what? We've got one for 500 pounds. That's been one thing. That's a good idea, yeah. Mm. Um, and the analogy we like to use as well, even with sort of your, your, your sort of whale clients as well who are spending more, 
realistically, bro, think of a fuel station. If your friend owned a fuel station and every time you went and filled up your car there and you were saving 10% exactly, yeah. every time you filled up, would you go and fill up your car there? Mm -hmm. 100%. And as well as that, let's say, for example, um, you did also, it, it was your best friend and he also turned around to you and said, right, well, every time you bring someone to come and fill up their, their car at the station, you will also get 25 pound off your next order. Yeah. It's, it's like an affiliate no marketing brain, scheme, bro. Yeah. Referral yeah. scheme just from people. It's a snowball effect, bro. Yeah. Like, Do you find that people like refer other people to you and all stuff the time, like that? Bro. Referrals are one yeah. of the biggest things, bro. Because when you, when let's say we do bring a client into the warehouse who's a big spender, so say to him, yo, bro, you won't mind just like putting a few snap, Snapchats up or yeah. do a few little Instagram stories. And I suppose people, you, you might not mm. even have to ask sometimes. Like if nah, people bro. come here and see all this fucking fresh yeah. shit. A lot of the time, bro. Like, oh, getting this Reflexing on anyway, it, it looks sick. Like, it. Yeah. And then even, even to the extent of, when we go out in Sheffield, for example, we've hosted like little events before. Yeah. Um, Big Up Onyx as well. We've done more the Exonix before and we'll invite our VIP clients down. We'll buy them drinks, we'll <laughs> get them lit. And and that's the thing, bro. It's, it's not it's not just <laughs> them buying from us. They're yeah. buying into the brand, they're buying into the personalities. They're, they're wanting to see the longevity of the projects of what we're offering and what, and what we're trying to do here. Because long-term, this isn't just a business model where we do just want to sell drip. We also want to have that one-to-one -one personal shopping experience. We do want an office where you've got the cabinet of watches in the window for the mm -hmm. RMs mm -hmm. or the big boys. Is that long-term goal then? Yeah, if you want a concierge and you want yeah. a private jet and you want to fly a yeah. fly, be for calm where the boys you need yeah, to come yeah. to for that. If you want, let's say, a, a, a fucking B-class bro in London from Novikov to Hakkasan to buy a few more cocktails, <laughs> yeah. sweet bro, we'll sort it. Yeah. So it's more of like, it, it, it's it's a network, bro. Like we're, yeah. we're trying to yeah, just network everything. A sick, man. sick platform, bro. An all-in-one platform that gives people convenience and and luxury, man. Like yeah, hundred percent. And I think that's probably like a, a very unique point to it because there's tons of personal shoppers out there and stuff like that. But then it's like if you want to go somewhere, like you want to go to a really nice restaurant on the night, chances are it's quite hard to get in if you don't know the right person to get in. Like if you don't know someone who's plugged up and who can just like boom sort it out for you, and then you fucked. It's like it, that's an essential thing for like a lot of like. Well, not like a lot of people who are just like just like starting to make it and stuff like that because yeah. you're obviously going to want to go and treat yourself every now and again, especially if you're buying drip and stuff like that as well. It's one of them. It's like it's a no brainer to like tie two and two together, really. Yeah, to be fair, do you know what a lot of the London personal shoppers do as well? Yeah, they'll source the item for the client on the day, yeah, off directly another reseller, and then what they'll do is they'll then go and put the parcel in an Uber. And then the, the, yeah. the clients can now yeah, get yeah, same yeah. day delivery, bro. That's in the London vibes. area or yeah. in big cities. And, and as well as that, they're charging a more premium fee for that same day delivery service, especially mm -hmm. on the items that are out of stock. 100%. LV pieces, bro. Like you can't even go into an, an LV boutique and buy the Windbreaker yeah. Wars got on now. Yeah, and yeah. the reason for that is because of the demand. Supply and demand, bro. You can then bump your price and have a huge leverage over the yeah. client because mm -hmm. either way, where are they going to go and buy that outfit? They can't go They anywhere. can't, bro. Like yeah, you're, the, you're the plug second hand, bro. Like unless it's second hand or and even then you go and buy it second hand you buy it off a dodgy Facebook group yeah it like could that. be fake it's not like you just want an easy pattern it's like Amazon culture people want to like want to order a couple clicks boom they know it's coming they know even if something's wrong with it it's just easy fucking return job and it's like next day delivery so I suppose that's what people are always looking for these days especially like consumers it's constant convenience even like everyone why would you not want convenience why would you not want like a pattern service that you know is going to be of course, smooth bro. why do you think Bezos is worth just under 100 million now <laughs> yeah 100 literally. billion bro like <laughs> it's ridiculous it's the man. service G um, but yeah how did you boys actually meet bro. like personally oh was it a party in it <laughs> yeah yeah was it a party bro <laughs> was it a party I'd turned up in a dressing gown dressing gown for <laughs> <to> party bro <laughs> oh my god <laughs> bro, it was across the road from mine bro yeah Zach was just sending it when he was like 15 bro yeah. like, wow this kid's active bro <laughs> in dressing like, gown yeah bro so we then, yeah. we then well, jumped yeah. in my boy's car and Zach's boy um, scared to the co-op bro he ran in went and bought us like a crate of fucking Budweiser bro I just sent it bro it was yeah, like yeah, 15, yeah. Bro. 15 man and, and then it's like yeah and then a month after that we didn't chat for a bit did we and then it came to like a night out bro where we was we was underage at the time and we both borrowed two of our friends IDs who were mutuals yeah. and it was the same night out through other mutuals um, so we sent it went out I got a video of Zap bro on his drive when he was like 16 just on the floor like this <laughs> Jack, leave me alone <laughs> just gassing up bro but yeah that, that and then from there bro um, literally just started working reselling yeah. um, used to basically bro we, we even went to the extent of having like a schedule where Zap would go into the outlet 
like three days a week. I'd go into the outlet three, yeah. four days a week, bro. And the thing is, when they drop the stock, you will never know when it's coming out. Yeah. Imagine TK Maxx as an outlet, bro. It's yeah, very yeah. similar to that inside. So every single time we was waiting at the doors, peeping through a little hole, yeah. trying to see what items were on the rails. Sometimes yeah. there'd be a full rail of Canada Gooses, but me and him <laughs> was known, bro, like, yo, they're going to be priced at 50 to 100 pound a jacket, bro. There's, there's 5K lit there, yeah. bro, straight on that rail. So how did you even like discover like this outlet though? So like, how did all that come about? Like, how did it even like come <laughs> up with the original idea of like doing that? You know, I actually think it was Ryan. And, and, and the chick, bro. No, the chick is the one who gave it away. <laughs> so one of our boys, I, I had a phone call one time and I think, I'm not sure how, how it even come about. And it was like, yo, Zach, like, I've seen this, this blue Montclair here for 50 pounds. Is Obviously he? I can't even drive it this time. I'm thinking, what the hell, John? 50 <laughs> yeah. pounds? So I, I, I get my mum to drive me down. I, I pull up there. Obviously, there's three of our mates there. And, yeah. we'll, and they're, they're all looking at this Montclair like, oh, shall I buy it? Or shall I not buy it? <laughs> yeah. Do you know what I mean? Just all prancing about it. I was like, look, I'm taking that. I wore the, I, the it was a women's size zero. Or <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it, was a, it was a women's Montclair jacket, but obviously it was the first Montclair jacket that we had. So I was like, yeah, sweet. I, I just I just wore it. Do you know what I mean? I'm, I'm yeah. wearing this Montclair jacket. Yeah, yeah. It don't even fit me in my t-shirt and my <laughs> big bumps hanging out as I'm walking and stuff. And then, then yeah, then I think that that was the first that was the first time I personally went. And then somehow me and Jack just kept seeing each other there. As yeah, it was well in it. And yeah. we, was, we was just getting so much; it was a bit of a joke. So was you just honest. like going to buy like personal stuff at first? No. To be fair, mm. as soon as, yeah. as soon, yeah, as, as soon as we saw the prices, there was like, yo, there's yeah. big, big profit dough in margins. This. In yeah, this. it's like I think yeah. even after that that sale on the Valentinos at school, bro, for like a hundred pounds, g. Yeah, like, just even even the seventy pound profit, bro. Prof. Like at the time, my, the only other business I ran before that was when I was 14, 15, bro. I was washing cars for five pound in my village, building yeah. a local yeah, line, yeah, yeah. and I was thinking, wait a minute, I'm spending seven eight hours a day cleaning motherfuckers cars bro and i can be buying valentinos for 30 pound and flipping them for yeah, a bill yeah. yeah and all i need to do is buy that there walk into school speak to a few people and shot them on the spot yeah Boom. my uh, my mum was a market trader yeah so she used to sell hair extensions and, and hair wigs and stuff so when i was younger i was just going on the markets with her, with her on the weekend I only get paid like a fiver yeah he's just spending on match attacks and shit <laughs> <laughs> get my fiver but i was obviously putting wigs on the girls oh my god you look so beautiful <laughs> oh, mad. Yeah, yeah so, mad. so I, I i was doing that from like 10 to like 14 50 yeah and had like an electrician job where my next door neighbor was an electrician so i just used to go with him and just do some labor work and stuff you used mm -hmm. to repair the maxes right? oh the max the yeah, max the was a bro. mad business model so I <laughs> I used to buy basically Brad Austin's dad. So Brad, who, who's now part of the yeah, team, yeah, his yeah. dad used to own a computer store. Mm -hmm. So I just used to buy broken uh, MacBooks with ju just with the screen broke yeah. um, on eBay, flipping Gumtree, whatever I could find them on, bid up to a certain price. Yeah. I used to then give the MacBooks to Brad's dad. He used to fix them up and I used to flip them. Mad, but, yeah, made a profit. But like five, and this was yeah. longer than this. this was like, again, it was like 14, 15 but no one was doing it back then. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? This whole like sort of e-commerce, yeah, sort yeah. of online arbitrage, whatever it is, no one was really doing it. So that was pretty sick. But then, yeah, as soon as we discovered the, discovered the clothes, me and Jack always loved the clothes. Yeah. And that's where, but we had a few businesses in between the clothes as well. So we, we've obviously, we've scaled there and, and we're scaling this to crazy levels now. Mm -hmm. And I think as well, the fact that we, we launched our educational side to, to yeah. help other people actually build. When we first was launching the educational side, people was like, yo, I don't know why you're doing that. Why why are you actually yeah. launching that? Why do you want to decrease your market share? But mm. now, as now people are seeing the revenue that we've done and we've done insane revenue through the group. And it's because these clients are making so much and churning so much revenue from the stock that as you can see yeah. that we've got here mm -hmm. and our spend as a group now is going insane and everyone that was saying yo zach and jack like you shouldn't even really be doing the educational yeah. Yeah. is seeing it but when they were saying to, to us yo i don't think you should set, be setting up the educational platform we were just like oh bro i, I don't even know like we was playing it chilling yeah, 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 yeah. We, we were just like look yeah. we're playing we're it chilling, and, we'll, and we'll show you in it in, in, a, in a, year, a year's time or whatever what we can build but i think as well even for the group members now within the educational platform uh -huh. bro we've got clients who are churning 90 to 100 000 pounds a month Big yeah. up rich plus uk Smoke. axel attire yeah. my personal shopper uk tv Dr. Dr. There's, there's so many of them churning bro. cash we've got yeah, and then like sort of smaller clients who are doing five to ten k a month in revenue. Yeah, mm -hmm. and what what are the margins on on the revenue? Well, it dip, so if the, if they're drop shipping the stock with the authorized retailers that we're putting in, involved with, so for example, let's say you wanted a, a, a Montclair jacket, 
retail was a thousand pounds. I would say to you, oh, no worries, bro. I can sort you for 950. You would send me 950. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'd place the order directly with our account manager for like 750 to 800. So on them dropship items, they're making like 20 to 25%, yeah, yeah. which is still amazing. Bear in mind, yeah. you're not using any of your own cash. Um, and then obviously on the wholesale packs, that's where our members do really churn. Really, really churn. The, the wholesale packs that we put together, our members are, are really sitting, I think, making 50 to 60%. Yeah. Mad. So how does that time. work? So um, we drop wholesale packs. So to be fair, it's just around there. You can't really see, but we have so many, much stock. So uh, you, let's say again, you'd come to us or in the group and say, look, we're dropping a 1K wholesale pack. Mm -hmm. uh, the RRP of this deal is 2,500. You can buy it for 1K. Um, now, you would then buy the, the wholesale pack off us and then you just resell it on Depop, eBay, flipping Facebook Marketplace, any yeah, platform yeah. you physically Whatever can. you're pushing, yeah. Yeah. But, and then we teach them the strategy as well of bringing these clients across to WhatsApp, retargeting mm -hmm. them again. So on the business cards, mm -hmm. when they're sending it out with a the parcel, they're then saying, drop me a WhatsApp for £15 off your next order with a WhatsApp. Yeah, so they're going to do that. Yeah, so yeah, even yeah, though yeah. you're not directly communicating with that eBay buyer, what you are then doing is after when they're dropping you that WhatsApp, so you're banging them on a broadcast, yeah, bro, yeah. and putting, let's say, 500 people on one broadcast. You're sending one message out at once. It sends it to everyone. Yeah. So they're saying that they're seeing the latest Montclair that's coming in stock. That's oh, clever. you got size medium in this. you got size yeah. large yeah. in this. Bro, we will provide you with the content and the photos of the stock. We'll yeah. provide you with the, the video. Yeah. 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 Content's the hardest part because as a new personal shopper into the industry, how are you going to have enough cash to go and buy five, 10, 15 grand's worth of stock to then get photos of? You're not, no, got exactly. no yeah. guarantee because we actually it. started like yeah. a personal shopping company when we first started Crepe Chief because mm -hmm. that was like the idea of it but the issue was we had no content yeah it is. so exactly, we were just bro. like a bit stuck you've got to treat your Instagram your TikTok and these multi-channel social platforms like portfolios yeah so you've got to be projecting exactly what you can source what you've sourced in for your previous clients because guess what if someone goes onto that Instagram page and sees that Montclair jacket they're going to then message you saying have you got a medium yeah, it's my size yeah, I want to go and buy it you're then upselling products that you don't even tangibly have in hand and then you're just middleman in the deal bro every mm -hmm. single time without even investing a penny because every time you're taking the payment off the client order and after that 200 pounds you made in the middle you made it for free yeah and then when the item comes you might even want to do a pov clip of you going to drop yeah, that item 100%. off to the client yeah chop that up bang it on tiktok convert them across to your instagram so they ship it straight to the client or to themselves first so we recommend to, to get the item shipped to the the reseller first just yeah. so they can get that pure content yeah yeah because at the start we we're more than happy to to provide long-term content we will for the foreseeable but the thing is that the, the the resellers need to transition from using utilizing our content to them pushing their own just so that they can yeah. create their own little studio backdrop yeah, authenticity well. within the content their own um, business cards own things business like that. cards and then they package and, it up in their own like yeah, uh, packaging exactly, bro. Or, it just adds more value to the brand if I'm going to be yeah, honest yeah. Mm. And, and that sort of the, the way that they transition over that period. Yeah. And, and even from the get-go, bro, they'll, they'll work through the, the A to Z blueprint. And it even goes to the extent of, we, we even go to the extent of mindset mm -hmm. of what it takes to be an actual true entrepreneur. Yeah. I mean, bro, like you you did all the mindset shit, bro. Like it's crazy what you did in there, bro. <laughs> yeah, the mindset stuff is mad. Do you know what I mean? Everyone just says like, oh, I want to succeed or... Do you know what I mean? The American dream, what we were just discussing yeah. earlier, yo, I've, I've got a dream, but no one's actually really, really willing to put the work in. Yeah. Yeah. If, if you are willing to put the work in, okay, sweet, get up at half five. Do you know what I mean? Stop watching TikToks at half nine at night. Do you know what I mean? Go to yeah. bed at Stop half nine. Stop smoking these as well. Stop smoking these. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Realistically, it's a whole lifestyle change. Are you a half five person get up? Yeah, I get up at half five and just to actually it? get it in. Yeah. And it's because if I don't get up at half five, it's calm, but I'm either all in or not in Oh, I'm not enough. Yeah, board, Zach, bro, yeah. Zach kills mornings, bro. Man's up at half Mad. five. You get to the gym for six. Yeah. You're trained to like seven, half seven. Go gym, uh, go sauna, steam room. Steam room. Mm -hmm. But it's, it's either you're all in or, or really you're yeah. not in at all. But obviously, you eventually you'll get to a stage where it's all right, sweet. You don't necessarily have to do that. You can yeah. be yeah. a bit more relaxed. But I really do think if, if you're first starting out. Especially for the first few years. The first few years, years you've really got to go in. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Because like we said before, you're competing against everyone else. Who's doing that? Who's doing it? So... And, and yeah, to be fair, I'm, I'm, we're really, really happy with how the educational side has come about. Mm -hmm. So I think it's good to teach everyone. Yeah. It's our first educational yeah. platform that we dropped. Yeah. And at first we, we ourselves was even a little bit nervous because even though we've successfully made this business model and, and churned stupid numbers from it mm -hmm. to then sort of reiterate that information to other people and make sure that they're actually going to be successful is a complete different story. Really. Yeah, yeah. So the, the course itself, how we did it is when we initially did the course, we then had two friends who actually tried out our course. 
before then we actually published it. So yeah. that was a great insight because then any changes that we needed to make, we could make them. And again, even as our members have started to go through, we start to do the webinars. The webinars that we that we have in the group are sick. Obviously, we're jumping on the webinars. This is what you need to do, getting everyone yeah. gassed yeah. up. This is the content you're going to push today. This is the stock photos you're going to push. We're just trying to make the process as seamless as it can for yeah. our clients in, in essence. Kind of help them as much as possible. Help them yeah. as much as possible to build as much revenue and churn as much cash yeah, as they yeah. possibly can. Because um, at the end of the day, just to be completely transparent, we all that revenue that they push helps us as a group to get more stock, to get yeah, better, better prices. Stock. So it's in our mm-hmm. very, anyone who's watching this, it's in our very, very best interest that you are the most successful you possibly can be if you join our network. It's not like uh, you, you're joining some form of like Forex course. Yeah, do yeah. you know what I mean? Where af- after you've deposited your money, I don't give a, f- a, a flying yeah. hell what you do. Do you know what I mean? No, of course, yeah, yeah. Your, your, your success is, is all dependent upon us. And like money aside, seeing members actually succeed yes. is just... Yeah, bro, it feels it's mad, bro. Like, mad. We, we get WhatsApps, bro, every single day. So, bro, thank you so much for this opportunity. Yeah, I've yeah. just made £180 on the CP jacket. Yeah. <laughs> like, bro, us watching other people make money is such a great one. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Because it's mad. For us, it's 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 actually seeing people transition and change in their own lives. Yeah, yeah. just to, to just to work towards that time, yeah. and location, and financial freedom. And it, open, it opens yeah. new doors and stuff like that as well. Of like, course, it does. The, the, the people you teach will now have had like a taste of you know what's actually possible with like some hard work, mm-hmm. and you know when you're actually doing things in like the correct way, and it just inspires them to like go on. Like to people who, who you know who have done your like mentorship and course, you know they could go on to be multimillionaires. You know like literally it, it's, it's like facts, they just need like that little door opening and like yeah. to see what's Set possible and, and then once you've had a taste mm. once you understand the the fundamentals of business as well it's specifically in regards to e-commerce once you have that blueprint in your brain any further business model that you then go and introduce you are going to perform and execute yeah. that business model 10 times better 100%. than the first one yeah the, the main issue that we've seen is that people concentrate on on short short term cash and let's say right i want to make money today is actually amazing do you know what i mean it's where your, your headspace should be yeah but actually working with with a client and, and whether that client converts in a month or in six months yeah that's the transition that that we've noticed yeah. and working with so many people as well trying to build this business we've noticed that look me and you can have a conversation it doesn't mean that you have to buy something off us today let's keep that data let's keep you in some form of a database let's keep retargeting you and then eventually you're actually going to convert mm-hmm. And it's doing the exact same thing in real life as well, which we teach in our clients. And, and it's something that we had to have a transition from because because of like these dopamine levels being so high and, and people just wanting everything so instant now because you can get everything so instantly. Yeah, true. In this sort of life that we live in, everything is so instant. It's taking a step back and saying, okay, I'm going to set these actions today. And even though the money might not come in today, I know that in a week's time, in a month's time, I'm planting these seeds and, and, yeah, and yeah. the fruit will will come through when it's time yeah exactly and it's not about like getting a, a bunch of cash in straight away and then thinking oh i'm rich i've got all this money i can spend it it's like the compound factor of it too yeah, exactly yeah. so every time you get more money in you can then go and buy more stock and nah. then that compounds and compounds and i was like I was talking to you the other day yeah yeah it's just bro, that graph the is graph mad, is yeah, the graph yeah. is yeah. crazy so based on one thousand pound in month one invested based mm-hmm. on a 30 percent roi by was it 48 months or 24 months was it only 24 months yeah bro yeah after 24 months you then left with 471k (laughs) if you compounded every month every month month yeah i mean it's obviously not going to be that every time but i mean if you manage to get that kind of clientele and have them sales every month even if you only manage to do half of that one grand to 250k in two years is fucking yeah it's insane it's more than you're going to get out of like working a job like you work a job you get like 30 grand like a year let's say you know like you're going to be working for like five to ten years before Just you even like get close mm-hmm. and like, i think as well bro like pe- people ask us as well right well how are you getting these deals so good mm-hmm. like how, how are the deals in the wholesale packages always going to make me that minimum 30 percent roi mm-hmm. the way we like to explain it to people with trade clients is that we almost act as if a john as like a john pine so let's say for example it's costing a retailer too much to sc- store the stock per square foot yeah, yeah we will then buy liquidate and purchase the stock and then because we're getting such a great discount on it, that then allows us to put these wholesale packages together for our clients. Yeah, yeah. So every every part of stock, it's not always new season. There might be some, let's say, last season stock. Yeah. That there might be, let's say, a package where, let's say, I don't know, some of the bits haven't got the tags. That will all be always be declared within the package. However, that will just give them even more of a bit of a profit. No, oh, yeah. Let's say they're buying it seventy percent off on yeah, yeah. Palm Angels, bro. Like. To list it all on Depop be pretty cheap, yeah. bro. And people don't actually that care that often, really. No, of course. It's like, not, oh, this is come, but it's got like a ripping. 
I don't know, part of the zip or something. It's not you that big of a... Yeah, like, exactly. I've never seen it. No. Yeah, no. Let's get it tailored and resell it anyway. 100%. And like I said, it's a different demographic of person. Of course. You know, the people bro. who want to save the money but still want to be dripped out and stuff like that will happily buy something with a little broken zip or like, you know, a little hole in it or something like I've that. done it before when I was younger. Like, yeah, course, you, you just do it, don't you? Yeah. yeah. If you got haven't got the cash, bro, like, you're going to have to. And it, and stay it, drippy. <laughs> yeah. And it, it all comes down as well to, to the longevity within the project we are working on within yeah. the Morley Group. Because the long term goal here is now we have, let's say, 350 members within the group. They're all going to contribute to the buying power and the scalability of the business. Yeah. Look at economies of scale. Whenever we come to then working with another authorized retailer and we do then retain a new B2B contract, because of our spend being so high now, mm -hmm. there's no way that we're not going to be able to actually get that contract. Yeah, yeah exactly. The, the, yeah. the thing is, everyone wins. When you look at, let's say, some of these retailers on a B2B base, are they going to work? Are they going to want to work with one entity who's turning over five million? pounds a year or a, a, an entity that's full of a group of entrepreneurs that are turning over 500 million pounds a year mm -hmm. of course bro they're going to go for the highest spending client and they're going to want to work with that person more because the it, money talks bro yeah, and, and like, like you boys mentioned before you know when you're actually getting like these bigger deals and stuff like that with like brands and stuff you know it allows like personal shoppers to almost break in the last personal shop is to break into like a almost like a, a market of being like a proper you know like retailer where you're getting you know clubs at a cheap yeah, price exactly, bro. it allows them to break in and that's going to be like a fundamental like changing point in everything the fact that they can just get their, 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 their stock at that price that cheap it's going to open so yeah, many mad. more doors so this is what initially we taught our clients right this is how to, to set up a personal shopping business, which is working one-to-one -one with the clients. And that same analogy Jack gave of, okay, sweet, if you can get just 100 clients in your first year, all of them spend a K, you know, 100K in revenue. Now, what we've actually, as we progress through this business, we're going to teach the, the, the guys to do is how to actually build an e-commerce business, which is slightly different to, to what a personal shopping mm -hmm. business is. Mm -hmm. So what we're setting up at the moment is absolutely crazy and all of our members are super gassed with it. So we're setting up an API integration. So guys, all this stock that you can see in this warehouse now, every single one of these items is going to be on a site. Now, mm -hmm. what this API integration allows us to do is interlink all this stock right here yeah, yeah. into all of our client sites. So again, when we were talking about that beach money model where our clients are going to sit back, chill, mm -hmm. earn beach money by messaging, they're now going to be able to run ads on mm -hmm. all of this stock literally basically like an advanced drop shipping store but yeah. the difference is is that um using that same 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 model, model jack just said there we're not working that they're, they're not they have access to stock of a company spending let's say 500 million pounds a month when they're only turning over let's say 10k a month mm -hmm. in revenue yeah exactly so the, their profit margins on the stock are absolutely yeah, crazy insane, and for anyone yeah. who knows anything about ads uh, let's just say even a Montclair jacket at £1,000, if you've got a £300 margin to work on that jacket, are you telling me now through, through Google, through Facebook, through through even more advanced SEO, you're not shifting that Montclair? Yeah. No, yeah, exactly. You obviously and are. You've got such yeah. a and, and yeah, higher the, budget. Even bro. organically, yeah. like, even, it's exactly like you said, it's like uh, an advanced dropshipping model. Yeah. Like, think how booming dropshipping is like right now. It's probably uh, one of the biggest side hustles out yeah. there. It's incredibly glamorized. You know, mm -hmm. people are gassed to do it. People, people start dropshipping all the time. Like, it's such a big side us all today but the thing is you know the products that you're actually limited to is like products in that like china and stuff like that like yeah, yeah of course you can't actually do like a reputable branded product no, you can't no, like yeah. an advanced shopping student model where someone place an order for your site you fulfill that order for them just goes directly to the customer uh -huh. they don't have to do anything all they have to do is sell the product in the first place it's, it's, that yeah, is gonna man. change Bring as the much game. traffic yeah. it's, because it's, it's branded stuff as well it's yeah. like people yeah. want this kind of stuff and it's not like you're gonna have to sell them into like buying like i don't know some like crappy product that like you're gonna sell them into a high quality brand that people want anyway it's going to be like it's going to be like a total new wave of dropshipping new yeah wave. i think as well even with that being said logistically yeah i think there's a, like even with the students they're so so well attracted to the stock because they're not having to store it mm -hmm. they're not having to pay for staff to fulfill mm -hmm. we literally do all that and take care of that mm -hmm. for We're you doing all, all the of hard it, bro. work so yeah. we can we will literally post the item to your client in unbranded packaging so they don't even know where the product has come from but at the same time they've made 200 pounds and the client thinks oh Cheers, Alex. I appreciate yeah, that CP yeah. jacket, bro. <laughs> uh, did you post it off yesterday? Yeah, bro. Yeah, I did. <laughs> you know what I mean, like, yeah. Alex never posted no, it off it's yesterday. Gonna chill, and I think it's. I think it's, it's a great fire idea. idea. The, the API yeah. integration is 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 yeah. It's a bit of a mad so one. So when's that launching? So it's the, the software is currently getting developed as we speak. I reckon within the next two to three weeks it should be done. We, we have had beta tests, uh, but then it's making sure that, that software works throughout yeah, yeah. 350 stores. Yeah, yeah. So it could work on one store, but let's say if we only have three of them Montclair's in stock 
and and two size small sell it needs to sell it needs to show sold out on every one of our yeah. clients stores yeah. and then we've also got to build all of our clients websites out yeah as well and it's but, ensuring that even when it comes to like the collections and categories that they are paired up directly with the mm-hmm. API within the coding. So it yeah. works. So it's like, there's yeah. so much more to it. And then though. testing. But what we're going to do is because we're going to have the data now when, when we launch so, so many sites and seeing how to actually convert and push these clients to buy when they go on the site. But we're not just going to be looking at one site. We're going to be able to have a look at the UXs of so many sites yeah. and actually improve the conversion of mm-hmm. all these guys' sites 100%. over time. I think I think a cool little idea as well uh-huh. would be like a Shopify plugin for it. So instead of like people having to get you to like develop sites and like you doing the sites for them, mm-hmm. like with like normal drop shipping, you basically just get like a plugin installed on your Shopify website and it allows you to just drop ship stuff straight from China. Mm-hmm. So in like it just opened the doors to people. Dude. Like you could go global with it. You could take this to America, everywhere. You could literally yeah, blow that it up. Is, that is what is, we, we want to do. That's what I mean. And like warm. you know, breaking down the barriers to entry so people don't have to you know have like a custom developed site where it's integrated yeah. where people can just install a Shopify plugin and boom. Just boom, done. Boom, the hard, the hardest back thing back. about that is the the, the payment processor. Mm-hmm. So it's like let's say again, I'm on Claire. We, how we set it up is that if that sells for a thousand and our B two B price is seven hundred. The payment processor gateway will split that payment. Yep. 700, mm-hmm. 300. Now you can get, there's, a, there's an app like Logic, Logic Sync on, on, is it Logic yeah, Sync? Logic Sync yeah. on, on Shopify where you can just API and have that integration. Yeah. And a few people do do that in other industries. Yeah. But we're just scared that flipping will do that. And then, of course, we're going to have to then invoice that store after. Do you mm. know what I mean? Invoice. Yeah. It's There's all about creating automation, bro. Because like yeah. drop shipping mm. companies do it. Like that's how it works. I do think it's a great software. idea though to make it more yeah. accessible, yeah. It to, will be more to, accessible to more people, just to churn yeah. even more revenue. Really. Yeah. Hundred percent. And then you just kind of start like starting like you know like ambassadors, people who just promoting like this new type of drop shipping, like Dude. just like luxury clothing drop shipping. Yeah. And it'll just it'll hit the ultra mega churn, like <laughs> literal <laughs> mega churn. It'll be chaos. Ridiculous. I think it's a smacker. Mm-hmm. I really do. I think. Yeah, I'm gas for our group members as well because they've actually they've churned revenue without sites. You got yeah, to remember, there's only a few of our clients who have sites. They've built it organically, like what we have done. Well, so you teach them how to build sites. We we don't. That's not within the course at no. the moment. So, to, to be honest, ideally, we would be happy for these guys to actually build their own sites and have that integrated. But I think the more sites that we're in in essence really control of and, and seeing the conversion rate and, and mm-hmm. seeing the click-through rate on items and seeing where items have left off mm-hmm. yeah, we can yeah. then eventually start winning the actual ads for these clients as well so it's like we can almost be a specialist in this field yeah, and it's 100%. not like we're trying we've got a, a hundred and one other business models we want to set up but it's not like we're trying to do anything else but this so yeah, our yeah. full focus our full attention is going to be so it should this. be a- yeah 100%. Um, can't go too fast at once. Can't go too fast at mm-hmm. once. So in like a couple quick, easy points, how do you start a personal shopping business? So the first thing I want you to do, if you work in a full-time job at college, at school, I want you to speak to everyone you know on a personal level and get them all in a WhatsApp broadcast. Very simple to do. What you're going to then do is you're going to ask some of us boys to get some of that content. We're going to start pushing it through your broadcasting to test the interest. After that, you're going to focus on continuously building that one-to-one report with them, set up an Instagram page and churn. Love it. That easy. Love it. So, <laughs> so what's like, the hardest part? Do you think like about like actually starting like a personal shopping page? Like, that what's that, your biggest like bottleneck to success? The the hardest part about becoming a personal shopper is the content side. Mm-hmm. So let's say for example, I go to JD now. I go and buy a pair of Dunks. I take that photo of that pair of Dunks. I put them on the personal shopping page. What now? I, I've put the photo on. I put the video on. I will then need more and more content to start showing off my portfolio on Instagram of exactly what I can source as a personal shopper. Because to be able to convert these clients and for them to buy into the portfolio, you need to have great availability, great content, and a really, really strong brand. Um, and from there, every single follower you get, you retargeting that person, you're dropping them a message after saying, yes, bro, I'm a personal shopper. I can source anything you want me to below market value. So if you ever need anything, please just let me know. If you refer anyone as well, I'll, I'll give you 15 pound off your next order just by bringing a client straight to me. And just like that, you start like, building that network. From there, bro, churning. you could even start, bro, from your personal brand on Instagram. Mm-hmm. So even if you wanted to use Milo's page, if you mm-hmm. want to start doing it, bro, start just literally posting a few few photos of a few bits of stock. Even maybe repost a photo of a little baby wearing an LV t-shirt yeah. and putting yeah. underneath the photo. Or would anyone be interested in buying some Louis Vuitton pieces mm-hmm. or testing products based on other people's content? Yeah. After that, after you've got that interest, interest checker done, from there, bro, it's literally a case of seeing who's viewing your story, messaging your old school friend or old work colleague saying, yo, bro, I noticed you viewed my story. Yeah. I know you like designer clothes as well. Yeah, yeah. Take my watch. WhatsApp number, bro. Yeah. And if you ever need anything, I will source it you and I plug it up straight yeah. away. Have you ever had anyone that 
ads, to be fair, bro, we've got a few cl clients at the moment running ads, but they, they haven't got strict ad sets set up. They're just running literally Instagram yeah, automated promotes. ads. Um, I mean, we, we are going to be introducing a strategy in regards to the ad side in, in six to 12 months time. I mean, the group's only really in stage two out of four at the moment. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, we've executed stage one and two very, very well, but it's then then the case of introducing the API integration, introducing the, the digital paid ads, um, SEO and, and, and everything else. And then it's also and then for it's them, the, the different. Yeah. So we've taught our clients here how to build a personal shopping platform. There's other ways that we actually personally make money ourselves as well mm -hmm. that we want to introduce into the group at a later stage. But again, we don't want to run before we can walk. We want to show the clients that look, yeah. you're churning cash here. We've now we've in introduced the API integration with the website. You've churned cash again. Well, here's the next opportunity. Uh, as an example, that could be dealing or, or sourcing luxury watchers, yep. which is a great market because everyone who you're selling these designer clothes to yep. also likes watchers. So we partnered up with one of the biggest jewelers in the UK um, to drop this. But again, we still haven't dropped it as of yet because we, we're just waiting for the right yeah. time. We don't want to push push too, too much. And then there's a few other sections as well that we don't even want to disclose because we'll end up <laughs> disclosing them and then everyone <laughs> will end up jumping on it before yeah, we yeah, yeah, yeah. do it. Yeah. So makes total sense. Yeah, we, we, we just, we're just building a, an army of actual like-minded entrepreneurs of people yeah. who... Do really want to be successful? I bet the community's sick. Yeah, right the community's yeah. sick, bro. Yeah, the yeah. community's sick, but it's because they're actually churning cash. Exactly. So yeah. as soon as they start churning, that it's like your whole life changes. It's like you you have a, 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 some some new sort of life force within you. As soon as you start making a little bit of cash, yeah. you feel so much more confident. Yeah. Like you feel like you can go chat to girls easier. You feel like you can do everything. You, you feel like now you've actually you do have value. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. As soon as you start churning I, I, a little bit. Yeah, I think as well it all comes down to LTV within a client. Mm -hmm. So let's say for example once you you've built that relationship, once you've sold that very first product, how are you gonna then retain that client? So for us, what we do, we've got a database with all of our clients' birthdays on. Let's say for example, mm -hmm. it's Sam's birthday next week. Oh yeah, Sam, yeah. yo, happy birthday, bro. Here's a 50 pound coupon off mm -hmm. your next purchase with us. Sick. And then if they've got to spend over 50K for the year, we'll then go and personally see them with a bottle of champagne and say, Yoji, happy birthday, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Well, but guess what? Sam's gonna be buying a Louis Vuitton set, bro, for 3K with netting 700 pound on the sale. So that 50 pound coupon and that bottle of champagne set us back at 110 pounds but we're still netting 590 pounds anyway on the yeah, deal exactly it's even um, like uh, at valentine's day like at valentine's day everyone leaves it last minute do you yeah. know what i mean it's like yo it's yeah. so like a month before we will send them all a message on the broadcast right it's valentine's day coming up we've got these bags for you. our top spenders will just give them a balenciaga bag or a gucci bag yeah, or just yeah. some bags that were picked up for cheap so look, give this to your missus yeah. yeah just ship it out to them there you go <laughs> that's, that's your sick valentine's idea. day so, so yeah. i suppose that's what you teach people in like you know Molly group is the, like exactly that how bro. to actually take exactly that personal that shopping because there'll be people watching this who've already got personal shopping pages they're doing it on the slide but they've not there's hundreds of ways that like you just mentioned them with the to birthdays do. with the valentine's day where you can scoop up more and more sales more and more clients Facts, bro. and there's just you, you know learning from somebody else who's got a successful personal shopping business is that is always the easiest way to learn it's like all these people who've like been a part of Crep Chief mm -hmm. and you know they all probably already knew about reselling before they might have even dabbled in it a bit but then as soon as they come to us and we teach them how to do it properly we provide them with the tools and everything that they need to really churn from reselling they will be 10x in 15x in the mm -hmm. money they was making before maybe they had a couple of pairs of years in the past that they flipped on but now they're flipping earth fries they're making 500 quid a grand two grand profit every single month and they, they would have never been able to get to that level well not never but it, for the majority Much of people slower, out there yeah. they would never have got to that level if it wasn't for a service out there that teaches you exactly what to do and provide you with everything what you need to do we get asked on a daily basis can i buy your supplier contact package no and the reason for that is because we want to teach you and, and for you to understand the education and the strategy behind how to successfully set up this personal shopping business yeah. um because the, the way we see it is is let's say you do go and buy that contact package from elsewhere cool you do that but we want to let these clients understand exactly how they are going to scale the business um, I think as well, the, the main key contacts yeah. as well, they're not just going to work with Sam from flipping Bolton, do you know what I mean? Yeah. He's got no cash to spend on designer clothes. Yeah. You have, have, actually have to have this really high revenue volume no, to yeah, work with the best contacts anyway. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. everyone sat here sat in, the, in the personal shopping game selling contact packages is really a bit of a waste of time. Well, they're not going to drop 100 grand at the bro, first order yeah. and then sell it, all get, yeah. sell it all it's out. Ed education's priceless, bro. Like yeah. the knowledge that you learn and, and understanding the blueprint within the matrix and that's within any industry, bro. It can be anything. You 100%. need to know exactly 
what is required, what KPIs you need to meet to ensure that you hit your long-term goal of whatever that might be. Yeah. Not everyone wants to become a billionaire, bro. Not everyone wants to even make 50 to 100 mil. But if even if you want that bit of, bit of uh, yeah. financial freedom, you still have to have your own individual strategy and self-development plan to ensure that you will reach that goal. 100%. And doing it yourself, it's much kind of like harder for, it to, for you to get it done because, you know, if you start doing something yourself and you know you're learning as you go along it takes months and months and months you might go months without even seeing like a tiny bit of that return and like you know at the end of the day what's going to actually hook people into you know making money and continue to make money and really taking this business to the next level and putting in that incredible effort is the fact that they're going to make a win somewhere very like the sooner you make a win the sooner you make like that it's like when me when i resold my first like pair of shorts it was like 50 pound profit that first win that first 50 pound i was just hooked like that and you know the quicker you make your first win the the more motivated you're going to be like if you start in a drop shipping store and you know you you only get a sale after three months it's much more unlike it's much more unlikely that you're going to go for three months without a win whereas if you get a win straight away you're going to be hooked and you're going to keep going and you're going to churn it and like learning from someone else allows you to, to get that first win quicker which ultimately is going to push you to take it even further in the long run bro it's so true as well man it's even to the extent as well like we've got a few other students who are a bit younger 15 16 years old now what we told them to do is find their local shopping center walk around with business cards in the shopping center speaking to everybody they can possibly see mm -hmm. who's wearing a designer item and saying yo bro, your LV jacket's sick. Where was that from, bro? Yo, the Jordans are sick. Mm -hmm. And the second they've had that one-to-one -one relationship and that built that, that bit of a rapport, mm -hmm. after that, they're getting the WhatsApp numbers, they're giving them the Instagram profiles and boom, you've just created one client who's going to purchase from you for life. Exactly, just from that yeah. one conversation. And you can be anywhere. You can be at a party. You can be at a, a university lecture. No matter where it is, as long as you utilize your brain, you have that one conversation. That could make you £100,000 over the next five years in revenue just from that one conversation. Bro. You know, and it's daft, do you know what I mean yeah, yeah. it adds up bro like you, you never know exactly what people are going on to then go and do um, who will then spend the most over a period of time and, and this is why we will always consider that factor within our own business when mm -hmm. we're on holiday and people say oh what is it you do you're a personal shoppers bro if you if you ever need any yeah. of these exclusive item sourcing and this is the page drop it a follow Casey holiday the WhatsApp. <laughs> bro they might go and then spend two weeks after that three grand on an outfit because they've yeah. got that disposable yeah. income. Or when me and Zach, let's say, spent, I don't know, three, 400 quid on cocktails that day at the beach party. Oh, cheers, so. cheers, bro. That that outfit and that conversation yeah, just had just paid for our holiday. <laughs> because you, and and for, for the foreseeable after that, the next time we go, thanks again, because of your year's spend, we've just got this holiday for free. Crazy. You know what I mean? Just from that conversation, yeah, bro. It's crazy with personal shopping, like how much kind of opportunity there is. Any person you see out there who's wearing like designer gear, whether it's Jordans or Dunks, Facts, you know, which is probably like, it's over like, I don't want to say 50%, but it's probably around that like kind of like 30 to 50% mark. There are so many potential clients out there for you. All you need to do is create that relationship. And you know, exactly, bro. And some of them are going to come And it all comes down as well to adding value to that person. Um, because what we've learned from this industry as well is that the network that you are then introduced to is a different ball game the amount you'll learn from other people within the industry even people like uh, well we've met a lot of property developers crypto whales so many people that we never thought we'd meet simply through the service that we provide you probably it's, wouldn't meet him if it wasn't bro, for the service it's, it's same with you boys as yeah. well with crep chief you're offered an amazing service that has given people a huge opportunity to make extra side incomes and and from that you're building then a network on the side which then you're then having them them, them conversations with mm -hmm. you understand what they do and what their intentions are with the business what are they doing outside that business as well uh, right well you know what there might be then a further opportunity later down the line to work with that person yeah, yeah. And, and that's what it all comes down to bro the network is the yeah, network 100 and i imagine you've probably made some you know decent wins just off meeting people whether it's like a bit of crypto <laughs> advice have you made have you made some decent Endless. wins and stuff like that <laughs> Yeah, we made some, to be fair, we made some mad crypto. Obviously, we've lost a lot of cash yeah, in crypto. Yeah. i tell you one of the losses that we had. Uh, so LCX, we, we this this was towards oh, the back bro. end of, of 2021. <laughs> uh, we had 20K USDT in LCX. Uh, we ran it up to 146K. So then me and Jack are running around the room going, oh, <laughs> no, do you know what I mean? Bro, we're ecstatic, bro. Yeah, just made 120 yeah. Racks, bro. We're, at, we're absolutely going off. Uh, we didn't cash out because was like, yo, we'll cash out at a dollar. So a dollar, I think we'd have come out come out of about two two hundred and twenty k from 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 twenty yeah, k. Yeah, yeah. We didn't cash out. We're now actually down on the trade now. It's like like yeah. five or six k. But then we we hit some licks like quant. So we, we got in quant at, at forty dollars. Uh, sold out a quant at like four hundred and forty dollars. Like twelve x there. 
on on a lot of cash. <laughs> um, we bought Sol very early. Obviously, we was early on, on Bitcoin and ETH and, and, and quite a lot of other big crypto coins as well. We can't really talk too many numbers on this because obviously it's, yeah, it's, yeah, it's yeah, one of yeah. them ones where <laughs> it's already set. Like they, that's, why, that's why we love the crypto cash because yeah. the crypto cash is all decentralized. Mm-hmm. Like nobody knows what me and Jack yeah. have in crypto. Do you know what I mean? It's it's there, it's tucked away and, and we've never took anything yeah. out of it. And so how did you actually, um, like, you know, make... <laughs> <laughs> DPD, man. <laughs> <laughs> that was wild, that was proper in the moment. Yeah. But, um, Behind the scenes. What's like. he collected? Uh, just the parcels from today. Yeah. What will they be like? People who uh, are like, buying that personal shop and stuff? Yeah, yeah. so the group members, bro, they all have literally got loads of content this morning. Yes, bro. Um, yeah. yeah, so what was the DPD man collecting then? To be fair, bro, so the Morley Group clients, uh, they're obviously drop shipping the stock. We'll give yeah. them the content in the morning of the new arrivals that have then come in. They'll then basically chop that content up for TikTok, put it on the stories on Instagram, send it out to the WhatsApp VIP uh, clients. Let's say then they, they then get the orders, convert the sales. We will then fulfill and post straight to the clients for them in unbranded packaging. Yeah. So they've made that middleman profit without investing. 100%. They've used the content, they've mm-hmm. added to the portfolio and they're fucking churning. Yeah. Yeah. And so to actually get like a part of, you know, this thing where you can actually like drop ship flows and stuff, like that what do you have to do you have to sign up to your to yeah you guys. so in regards to the so process that, the, you know, the process to actually becoming a member for us now we're not looking for any old barry to be part of this program and the reason for that is because because we want um high skilled inspirational people who are very motivated to, to actually start this journey with us because let's say for example we take on paul um who's not really got that potential he's not willing to put the effort in um, not only is he wasting his own time, but he's also also wasting our time. So we prefer just to ensure that we're, we're taking on the right clients. Yeah, yeah. Now, how the process works is simply you, you drop us a message. Um, you then basically get a call. Where, where can they find you to drop you a message? Morley Group, M-O-R-E-L-Y dot group on Instagram. Um, and what you then do is basically say, hi, mate, I'm interested in becoming a personal shopper. We then basically uh, get a call scheduled in with yourself. We'd consult you on exactly what it is we do from the A to Z process. And then after the call, you would then fill in an application um, based on why you think you would be be suited to our program. And then we take on a um, set amount of slots each month, depending on how much we can actually deal with. Yeah. So if you do get a slot, we'd phone you up. Congratulations, Bob. Mm-hmm. If you've got your slot and, and yeah, let's actually get churning. Yeah. Then, we, then we do a 30, 60, 90 day development plan just to make sure that you're actually going to stick to it. Mm-hmm. With, with And you've got to remember, we're teaching guys online businesses here. Yeah, so yeah. We, te- we can see exactly what you've done. So if you come to us in 30 days and it's like, okay, sweet, well, I've only I've not made a sale yet. We can look back on your Instagram, look back on your TikTok and be like, right, well, this is why we, we've, you've yeah, not yeah. set the actions. Have a look at this page, someone who started at the exact same time as you and has actually completed this. So as long as you, it's, it, life's like a checklist, really. If you want to achieve something, there's no other route to get there apart mm-hmm. from action in the tasks and then making sure you complete the task. So good, me and Jack chatting about tasks. Oh yeah, let's set up an API integration. Let's set up another business. It's all just fugazi. It's all nonsense yeah, yeah. until we so actually you action it. Yeah. you got to conceptualize and, and, and then implement. And then actually application. complete the task. Yeah. Yeah. To be a complete bro. Is the most a important part. Yeah. How do you guys like structure your tasks? So um, you have like a to-do list or no so matter what? We'll tell them F- how funny we story, it. yeah? yeah. So we met the boys at Crep Chief Notify and they suggested suggested for us to start using Notion. Mate. Now, prior to that, we was using G Calendar. Yeah. We'd come up with a master checklist based on the difficulty of the task and the importance of it. Score that task uh, on a rating and then do it accordingly. But ever, ever since we started chilling with the, the boys at CCN, got us on Notion. Uh, yeah, since then we've seen huge improvements. Game changer. Yeah. Huge. Huge. So, so, good. Yeah. so yeah. big up you two. 100%. So for people who don't know what Notion is, it's basically like, um, it's almost like a CMS tool. So basically it's like um, you can do everything in the calendar, notes, meeting notes. You can have different teams. So you can give like different people party business access, you know, to-do lists and stuff like that. For example, at CCM, we have like a to-do list for like developers. So like they can see all the tasks, you know, what monitors they're making, any updates that are needed, anything to look into, um, all stuff like that. People, Other people can add to it. Um, for the media side of CCM, we basically have this thing called the stonk agenda. <laughs> basically in the stonk agenda, what it basically is, it's just like a detailed plan of everything that's getting made that week what videos what tiktoks what youtube videos inside there it's like a big calendar you know you can see what page it's going on like which editor's editing it um all stuff like that so it's like it's it's a great tool for you know just managing everything and you know like putting actual like you know business to like efficiency Efficiency. yeah it's really 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 good tool i've used a couple different ones i've used monday.com i've used asana but notion is definitely by far the best one i've used just because you can do so much on that yes so much more structured and as well it's actually kind of like pleasurable 
like when you're moving tasks from left to right mm. to, to, <laughs> to complete, do you know what I mean? And, yeah, and when you've got stuff into the to-do list, moving them across. The importance with the deadline dates on them as well, mm -hmm. well just having that pressure to ensure deadlines that we are, are so key. meeting every single meeting deadline, deadline that we've yeah. got. 100%. Um, we like to complete yeah. the tasks in the morning. So it's like by like 12, 1, 2 p.m., we've already done our base tasks that are the most important things we need to 100%. do. So now we can, let's say, make some content or we can jump on call with some clients or we can sort of just relax a little bit more because we know we've churned work yeah. in the morning. Yeah, we, we always put in time for block work in the morning, yeah. usually between like 9 and 1, 9 and 2, um, whether that's improving the course in some way, shape or form. Um, for example, when we enter stage four of the more the group strategy uh, for us, that is again that all comes down to TikTok organic, which again is a huge one at the moment. Show them the video. Yeah, yeah. So let's say for example, guys, um, pretty much there was a clip that was posted on my personal TikTok two hours ago. It got twelve point three k likes. It's now got one point uh, no twelve point three k views, one point four k likes, and I've had over forty DMs on Instagram already. Insane. And what was the DM so saying? Literally saying, um, how can I get involved in personal shopping? What is it you do for a living? Um, but guys, the, the the reason we're elaborating so much on TikTok and putting the emphasis on it <laughs> because let's say for example, uh, you've got a personal shopping platform, you, you're uploading the videos of the POV or unboxing that pair of Jordan ones. Let's say that video goes viral, yeah? You get 100K views on it, you get, I don't know, 20K likes. You then get, let's say, hundreds of DMs saying, oh, have you got a size eight in these, a size nine? All you're then doing is converting these clients across from TikTok directly to Instagram. They're following your page through, and, and you're re-engaging with them as well. 100%. Um, and, and again, we blew up on a few TikTok vids before on the Morley Trends account. Bro. What about the uh, yeah. the LV swim yeah. shorts? So imagine we did yeah. a video of the LV swim shorts. We poured the water on it. The monogram then the, the monogram print then came up on the video. After that, we had about over 800 inquiries. The video got about 2.8 <laughs> million views, 101k likes, and we sold. And it's all, all free. Yeah, all free marketing, bro. All free marketing. We sold probably about. 35 pairs of the shorts making 300 <laughs> nice pound a unit nice. I, I couldn't even tell you the number right now bro but yeah we churned on them <laughs> yeah, churned, bro. Yeah, and all, they're all drop ship bro we're yeah. all taking the payments ordering that then directly from the, the suppliers that we work with straight 100%. after bro tiktok is literally one of the best platforms out there for like organic growth like obviously it adds and stuff like that good but you know at the end of the day if you've got no money if you're just starting a business the best way for you to go about things is just organic because it's free and you can put it in your own hands you can spend all day making content and you know so. whether only one of the five videos blows up it doesn't matter because you know at the end of the day you can just keep making more and more content you know fine tuning it and it's possibly one of the best places out there to you know sell things to you know get brand exposure and just because of the fact that it's mostly organic the, the algorithm is nuts uh, yeah it, you, you fact, can't bro. get like it even on instagram reels instagram reels there is something up there's something about instagram reels there's like the algorithm's way different but it seems that getting going viral on instagram reels is way rarer than going viral on tiktok but if you do that's manage it you absolutely yeah. blow up stonks blow, mega yeah. stonks like i um i got like a viral one on like a fitbits like because you could like do like this mad thing with fitbits where you could like Basically, like Fitbits. This will get clipped and go viral. Yeah, now. <laughs> so basically, like Fitbits, what happened was like a year ago, they like did a recall for like a certain model, right? Um, so basically, you could go on eBay, buy like used ones, and then submit them off to the recall, and you can make like 100, 150 pound profit per one you was buying. And there's hundreds listed on eBay. So people was buying up these Fitbits and, you know, basically doing the recall. You bet you buy them for like 100 quid and you get like $330 for the recall. So you would just like Mad. smash yeah. them off. Mad so I did that as an Instagram reel. I think it ended up getting like 2.6 million views. Yeah. It churned to be like 7K followers. But then there's another guy who we know as well. He's got Black Bezos. Yeah. yeah. He, he, he is. He, churned. In the last year, he churned. Mega churn. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so he, yeah. so he did this reel about like a G-Wagon, right? Um, it was, was like writing your tax off. Yeah, it was like basically like saying that like G-Wagons can write your tax off because they're like over so much tonnage. They can like, they're like, they're almost like a van or like a heavy utility vehicle. So he made a tick, he made an Instagram reel on that. But his, the fundamental thing was his at the end was, he was like, so how do you know this? And he's like, because I follow Black Bezos on Instagram. So bro, this, this reel ended up doing like 12.1 mil views. He, he, he gained like 100K in a day. He ended up with like 350K. He's got 400 and something now. Yeah, he's got 400. 13K. Like 30K or something from 13k and me and the boys was in the office and we just sat there refreshing his page which is going up by oh, k k k we was like what is going on here but i've been monitoring his page and from what i've seen he's had no other he, he churns them out every day maybe once twice a day and since then he's like eating probably like 30 40 videos he's still not had one go as viral so what i think it is and he's made very 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 similar videos which are really good but it, there's just something about the algorithm on tiktok uh, on instagram reels where 
it's hard to go viral, but once you do go viral, the, the reap and the reward. And the fact that you can DM people is so much more personable. The fact yeah, that you facts, can interact bro. with people's pages, yeah. you can DM them, you can like mm. the post. With TikTok, you can't like, you know, DM people on TikTok. And, and I don't know why, but I think it's to force people back into the scrub. So instead of like, you know, flapping around, you know, mm. like making it a hub of operations and, you know, adding all this other stuff, you know, you kind of force everyone back into the scroll, which is obviously where, you know, the virality comes into things. Yeah, and, and even to the extent with, with us as well, we always recommend our students to be pushing TikTok organic as much as they possibly can. Now, whether that's, let's say, a picture in a footballer fit, whether it's rating a rapper's outfit. Again, that traction you will gauge just from that one bid. If it gets over 50K views, let's say you just acquire 500 followers from that one video, you will then turn all of them clients into conversions and sales every single time. Because guess what you do? You know when you get the follow? Do you know what you're going to do when you get the follow? You're going to message that person personally saying, thank you for the follow, bro. Mm -hmm. Let me know if you ever like or, or need any drip yeah, sourcing. Yeah. And, and they think, oh, I need bro, this. personalized, yeah. bro. You, you retarget them again, bro. Even in the comment section, what most of these multinational companies aren't even doing bro let's say they're getting 100k likes plus with over 5k comments on instagram um, and they're selling a product they should be replying to the comments on each and every comment saying view and shop this product at this url mm -hmm. or re and redirecting them to other th other channels to ensure that they are going to close that door yeah, um, and, and there's, there's so many different strategies of what of what you can mm -hmm. really introduce to ensure that you yeah. are doing it even to the extent of cold lead messaging no matter what industry and whether you own a, a digital marketing agency and you're ringing every single local business in your area saying have you got any online presence mm -hmm. um can we support you in any way with that and, and have having and building your own script to start getting more and more clients mm -hmm. on board that phone call has cost you nothing yeah, literally. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But that's a client then you can acquire long-term for life. Mm -hmm. um, and again, that's encouraged within our group as well. We've have, we have strategies where our members within our group now know exactly how to acquire clients on an organic base. Mm -hmm. So they're not having to invest heavily into to paid advertisement. Because let's say, for example, they start running ads straight away on a, a page that's got 200 followers. Are you really going to go and nah. impulse buy an item that's 500 pounds off no a page way. that's got no, 200 exactly. followers? There's no authenticity behind the brand. That there's no portfolio of stock or content creation strategy. That it, All of these fundamentals need to be built first before then they then introduce the digital paid ads. Um, if you got any before we before we quickly wrap it up, if you got any ultimate personal shopping gems, this is a word that we first heard the other day at the fucking Invest Fest, mate. He was like, "We're gonna drop some gems, <laughs> like meaning like top tips for like right. doing shit." I'd say gem number one for personal shoppers: content is key. Whether that's stories on broadcasts, TikTok, the more content you push and variety of stock that you push, the more sales you're going to get. Collages are the best key indicator to be able to get more traction and more volume to your platform, especially if, let's say, you're having that collage of all the kind of degusers available on request. And if you're churning about twelve to fifteen of these stories a day, you're going to close at least one sale. Yeah. So gem number one: content stories all the time, every single day. Um, gem number two, don't forget the most important factor of the business is the clientele. So always put that first. Ensure that you, every single day you allocate two to three hours a day where you are going out networking with more and more people to ensure that they will follow your page. They, they will have that WhatsApp number because at the end of the day, the clients are who, who run the business. Yeah. Um, I'd say gem number three, um, just ensure your availability of what you can source caters for every single kind of client, no matter what demographic they are, no matter what disposable income they may have. Ensure, let's say, if they can't afford them LV runners, then upsell them a pair of Jordans. You've got to remember, guys, that at the end of the day, if someone's interested in a product, even though they might not have the cash, you can easily upsell them an alternative mm -hmm. on DMs because you're chatting to them personally and the chances of them buying that item are very, very high. Yeah. Um, but you have to just um, cater the way you speak to that client um, and the recipient dependent on what the budget is. So they're the free gems in my opinion. I like it, bro. Fire, very fire, and like you know, for actually, so like you, the, you know, the the sourcing gem. What's the like best way to go about sourcing products? So, well, for sourcing products, I, if I'm going to be completely honest, you are going to need to to have access to our network, um, because at the end of the day, we do have the su strongest supply chain within the industry. So, step number one is you you are going to need to become a member, uh, and when you do have that consultation with us on the phone, just ensure that you are upselling yourself as much as possible. We need to see the potential in you for for us to allow you to become a member. Um, let's say you are successful and do enter the group. 
your your process then is very, very simple. Now there's a huge list of retailers that we offer discounts on anywhere between 15 to 30%. So let's say for example, um, that Montclair Meyer up there, let's say retails a grand, you're paying cost price at 750, 800 pounds. You're posting that story up of that Montclair um, saying all sizes available. You're constantly just recycling that content, mm-hmm. sending it out. And then when someone messages saying, yo, have you got a size large, bro? Yeah, I've got a size large, bro. It's going to be 950. You've just made 150 to 200 pound profit by taking the payment first, ordering it in. You're going to then take photos, get videos mm-hmm. of that Montclair as well. Then meeting them in person as well. You're going to use that content to then post on your platform, add to your portfolio. And as well as that, you're going to also use this content for TikTok. And that's just going to generate you even more sales. 100%. So, simple like as that, it, man. Very, very, very good stuff. Um, so I think probably, huh? So where can we find us? Yeah, Instagram at Morley Group um, uh, and then for our B2C platform at Morley Trends. Yeah, and so, all yeah. the links will be in the description of this podcast or whatever you're listening to this on. They'll all be in there somewhere so you can click through and have a little gander and stuff like that as well. Yes, sir. Um, but yeah, it's been a pleasure, boys. boys it's, it's been, been a sick, yeah. sick fire. Yeah, fire. We fire. appreciate you having us on as well, boys. No worries, it's happening, bro. It's good to hear about all the personal shopping and like the wide world of it, and like you know, making it into a successful business. Because I know there'll be a lot of people watching who you know are doing it already, but want to take it up to that next level. Mm-hmm. Mm. And even if uh, you are already existing an, an existing reseller as well, um, I mean, th- there's so many other th- sort of perks and benefits of, of becoming a group member, even to the extent of you expanding your supply chain and, and understanding the actual strategy for scalability. Um, because I think it comes to a certain level where making, let's say, five to seven K a month in revenue becomes easy, but then upscaling above 10K per month and then, and then 100K, mm-hmm. th- th- it requires a completely different strategy. Um, and if you are looking to, let's say, up, upscale your own business, if, if you're already in the industry, again, we, we are the people for that. 100%. Anyway, Sick. boys. Cool. Been an absolute pleasure. Yeah. Bro. yeah. Bye, guys. Fire one, bro. Bye, guys. 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 B